Welcome to Empire Alumni Spotlight, where we catch up with former Empire students. Today, we are talking with our superintendent, Mr. Jen Justin Smith. Mr. Smith, thank you for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. So my first question is, is what year did you graduate and what was it that brought you back home? Um, I graduated in 1991 and actually I have this is my second time coming back to Empire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I came back in 1996 or seven and was a coach here for four years. Uh, taught elementary school and coached. And then um, I went and did some other, other things and then came back as superintendent uh, five years ago now. And the main reason I came back is it is just the one job that I always told my family that uh, I would I would really like to have. And, and I just want to be able to influence the community and the school in the most positive ways possible. Uh, I'm, you know, I have a very vested interest here. I'm graduating here and I've just always loved Empire. So I wanted a chance to, to help out and see if we can make it a little better. That's cool. Uh, the next question is, what all clubs and organizations were you involved in while you were here? I was in uh, student council. I was the student council president my senior year. And then FFA, I was an um, um, officer in the FFA chapter. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, of course, I played uh, baseball and football. And... I'm trying to think. Uh, I was in the FCA as well. We had a chapter in. Um, so probably that's that's probably about it. Yeah. Uh, what would you say is the biggest thing that happened at Empire while you were a student? Well, um, probably when I was a junior, uh, we went to the uh, state finals in football and uh, we ended up being the state runner-up, and that was a, a great year. And so, you know, it was, uh, it, it was a great time. And for the community, you know, there was a ton of unity and um, camaraderie. You know, um, we played the state semifinals here against Maud, and, um, you know, I heard on some – news reports and things, there was an estimated, uh, you know, over 2,000 people here. Uh, there was standing room only around the sidelines, and so that was very exciting. We had a huge comeback to win that game and then made it to the state finals. So probably that year um, and, and all those, that, that football season was probably the biggest thing that happened while I was here. That's great. Yeah. Uh... What has changed about the campus since you graduated? Um, after I left here coaching, um, they added several things like the safe room. Uh, the gymnasium that we play in now uh, was uh, just barely completed when I had gotten here. So it was very new. And, um, and now with the, the new ag building, uh, that's been an addition. And... Um, just kind of a few smaller renovations, but for the most part, the the new safe room and uh, those classrooms, and then the, the new ag building have been the biggest additions uh, since since I was a student here. And um, I'm old enough to remember I had classes in the uh, old high school that was here, which is currently where the the library and and new gym are at now. Um, so I'm one of the last ones that had classes in that that old or that old high school um so that was kind of a, a unique thing for us and uh it was it was kind of fun to be a uh, part of that process i'm gonna split this next question into two what was okay. your favorite class while you were here oh favorite class and I, I had a bunch of them i feel like i had some great teachers um you know we the, the kids uh, that I grew up with, we've talked about it since we graduated. We were just really blessed with great teachers, great parents, uh, very supportive. 
So I don't know if I could narrow it down to one. You know, I had great elementary teachers, but probably the impacts that I had, um, you know, as um, middle school and, and high school teachers, um, my coaches were huge influences on me. Probably one of the reasons why I chose the career that I did. Uh, Coach Pick, uh, Ken Pickard was his name, and um, Coach Taylor, Coach Wanger, um, even Coach Hossemeyer, he, he was a girls coach, but they were all great influences on us. Uh, I had Coach Weist that has ended up at Comanche now for a little while, so those people were all great influences, but if I had to decide on an academic class, um, we, we had a lot of fun in Woodshop, but I'm not sure that I'll learn the most in there, but we did have a lot of fun. Um, I'm just glad we survived that class. Um, uh, I had an English teacher when I was a senior, uh, Mrs. Drake, and, uh, she kind of, um, inspired me, I guess, to, uh, do a little better in English. Uh, Mrs. Dawkins was our math teacher at the time. <clears throat> I struggled through math and thought she was the hardest teacher in the world. But when I got to college, uh, college algebra was actually easy because she had really prepared us for that. So I realized later what a great teacher she was. Um, we had a teacher named Mrs. Hammond that was uh, here and, and she was really good and she taught English as well. Um, but I could go on and on, you know, we, we had lots of great teachers, but probably those stick out, uh, you know, at the top, but in coach Pickard's class, we got to make gunpowder. So that was great fun. Okay. So whenever I split this up, you kind of answered it, but who was the teacher that made the biggest impact on you? You know, and I, I failed to mention him a while ago, but uh, Mr. Cheatwood, I, I had him for four years as well. And <clears throat> so, yeah, I'd probably have to say it was a pretty close tie between Mr. Cheatwood and, and Coach Pickard because, um, you know, I, I spent the most time with, with those guys between sports and FFA things and, you know, going to games or um, FFA trips and, I even worked for Mr. Cheatwood on the side a little bit. So uh, um, probably, a, probably a pretty close tie between those guys. All right. Uh, what is your fondest memory of Empire? Man, you know, all my childhood memories kind of revolve around Empire. So <laughs> prob probably the, the greatest memory was kind of what I alluded to a while ago um, with the state semifinal game here, you know, getting to play on our, our home field. And then uh, the, the great comeback that we had in the, the second half to, to win that game and go to state. So probably, uh, probably that night was one of the greatest memories we, we had here. All right. In closing, what do you think makes Empire stick out from other schools? You know, here again, I could go on and on because I, I am very proud of our school and, and, uh, our community, but just the camaraderie that we have, uh, the close knit community, um, while everybody kind of knows what's going on with everyone else, you know, that's, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. But I think that we, we care about each other a lot in our community. Um, <clears throat> it's a very accepting community. Um, when new people move here, I think that they're accepted and, um, but mostly just the, you know, the community is what makes it great. The, the people that live here, the people that we grew up with um, and so forth, uh, uh, they're, they're what make it, you know. Um, and, uh, you, know, you know, it's why I brought my daughter back here because I thought it was a great place to grow up. And um, I wanted to give her those same opportunities. And, and she loves it just as much as I did when I went through school. So, um it's real hard to just pinpoint what it is, but I think once people are here and uh, kind of are a part of it, they, they realize that, it, that it's a special place. And, um, you know, we're, we're blessed with a great staff and um, so I, and, and then great kids too, but the great kids are made by great parents. And so I'm, I'm really appreciative of all that and uh, very 
very fortunate that we get to work here and, and send our kids to school here. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Smith, class of 89, for joining us. 91. 91. 91. All right. Yes, sir. No, it All was right. 89 when we went to the state finals. So, uh, but yeah, we're class of 91. All right. And thank you all for watching the Empire Alumni Spotlight. Until next time.